thing is a monster. I'm standing in front of a Renegade and it's got the International Lone Star chassis, 525 horsepower, has an air horn, it has the dual stack going up the sides, but this isn't the one we're actually gonna walk through. There is a nicer looking Renegade, we're gonna take a walk through, show that to you. Now this thing is truly a beast. It's the Renegade Icon. It's got a 600 horsepower diesel engine by Freightliner. It's got a dual axle with the tag and it's just massive. That's all, that's all I can say. Let's take you inside, take a look, see this bad boy. So we've shown you the Jayco Seneca, the Dynamax Force, and now we're in this Renegade Icon. This is on a completely different level, and it's like the uber luxury of Super C's. Like any Super C, my favorite area is the driver's compartment. This is the Freightliner chassis, and it just has so many different bells and whistles and gauges and dials and all the stuff to play with. Um, but there is a special trailer brake, because you're towing so much weight. I think these tow about 30,000 or more pounds. Um, you know, you've got air horns, you have all these cool things on something that is literally a full-size truck. So you can really see a commanding view of the road in this. And the seats are so comfortable. Everything is laid out just right. I wouldn't mind one of these. So right over the driver's compartment are all your control panels. You have a computerized leveling system. This is all your, your water pump, storage lights, etc. cetera. Um, there's an RV power monitor, your tanks, aqua hot system, again, an Onan generator. This is cool, it's floor heat. So you can heat the floors on a cold morning and walk around in your bare feet. Air conditioning, this is your battery control. It looks like it also has solar and then all the hydraulic room extensions. So the, the room is actually, or the slides are actually operated via hydraulics. So this is again a step above. This coach has beautiful woodwork, uh, storage area above the door, MCD shades by the door. There is a control panel for all of your lights with a master on and off. So I can turn off all the lights in the coach or turn them back on. There is a ground effects button. There are neons underneath the coach, so if, you, if you're parked at night and you want to make your coach look really cool at the campground, you have ground effects. Turn those off. There's lighting on the awning and an integrated awning that goes out to the side. Oh, buttery smooth. This sofa does have a pull-out bed. Well, why would you want to sleep on a pool out when this thing is so plush? Uh, outlet right here for when you're working, that's perfect. It's got electric MCD shades all around. And of course, what couch isn't complete without cup holders in the back? Now across from the main couch in the dinette, you have an electric couch. So you have a nice little bed for the kids. Or if your guests have had too much to drink, put this down and let them do their own thing. Electric TV, big, big screen, really nice. This is gonna come down and it'll look like a counter. So you can put it away when you're driving or if you don't just feel like reading a book, don't want the TV out. And you have a window right behind. There is a direct TV setup. Bose surround sound. The speakers are all integrated throughout the coach. Blu-ray player, your Bose system. True induction cooktop. Microwave convection oven, and it's about the shiniest convection oven I've ever seen in my life. Some storage down below, and then dishwasher. So beautiful woodwork in all of these. One neat feature, and in they go. Lots of storage underneath the sink. The sink itself comes out in four pieces. So it actually gives you a little bit more uh, versatility when you're just 
trying to decide what you want to do here. But there is a lot of, this is really heavy stuff. There is a lot of kitchen room here to work. Um, there are two outlets on either side. More storage space. This is the comfiest dinette I've ever been at. The table is a little bit high. Uh, it's not too bad. I love the wine bottle slash cup holders here. Uh, it's great if you're driving down the road and someone wants to sit back here and have a drink or something. Uh, this table does not fold down, so this is fixed in place. But with the bed and the uh, small love seat that fold out, you have more than enough options if people want to visit. So there's even more storage under the dinette. On both sides, there are drawers. I'm 5'11", and I can barely touch the ceiling. That's pretty cool. You don't feel claustrophobic at all in here. Also, there is an outlet underneath the dinette. So again, if you're working, there's a plug right there. Beautiful residential fridge. They have locks on them so it doesn't come open. This is a GE profile. Tons of room. Like a chest freezer down on the bottom. You've got an ice maker as well as water, built-in pantry, a lock so it doesn't fly open. A lot of room for stuff in there. And there are also holes here so you can adjust these up and down as needed. So of course, what coach of this caliber wouldn't be complete without washer and dryer? There's also a central vacuum system. So here is one of the outlets for it. Just plug in your hose and you can vacuum the area. Half bath, nice sink, great mirror, storage, very nice toilet, and you have plenty of controls here so I can control the lights. There are floor accents on and off. Now this truly feels like a bedroom. Huge closets, when I open them, the lights come on. Extra space here, here, and there's an outlet in here as well, but this whole area back here is actually open. So behind this TV, it's an open area. You can store stuff, it's great. Nice size television, Bose sound system, even more storage down here. This is a big pass-through area. And nice drawers. So under the bed, you've got the water tanks and everything, so you lose all of that storage. But with everything else you have, I don't think you really need it. Reading lights over the bed for both sides. And there's also your master switches up here. So again, if I'm laying in bed and I want to turn everything off, there I go back on and I have control of almost everything in the coach and I can just turn off the master bedroom if I want to and leave everything else on. So these are really convenient. There is an outlet but there are also two USB plugs. So most of us who are charging their phone, you're just going to plug into the USB plug. You don't need a full outlet. And now the bathroom. The window in the bathroom, it's got the same floor heating unit, light switches and everything else. Um, a ton of room in here with storage, all of this stuff, really neat looking sink, and then the best part, the shower. So this feels like a residential shower. There's a ton of room, nice stone all over the walls, great shower head, little places to put your stuff, tile floor, and then you have a nice glass sliding door. The bathroom also has a max air fan and a giant sunroof. Like all the Super C's, we love to see what they look like when the slides are in. This one is no exception. So it's gonna be a little difficult trying to walk front to back to go to your middle bathroom, but it's doable. It's very, just slide on over. Where we start to have a bit of a problem in this, is in the bedroom. Unless you feel like crawling over your bed to get to the bathroom, 
you're not going to be able to walk back there. And this bed has actually slid underneath this giant cabinet. So if I'm going to try and sleep in this, there's really, I'm really hitting this thing. This is the driver's side of the coach. Uh, in here you have all of your electrical components, like your cords and that. Uh, one really nice thing about the doors, they all have double latches. So that's a nice feature. Um, but here again, you have the power cord, which we love. A little bit of storage back here. And actually, this icon has less storage than some of the other coaches we've looked at because of the systems that come with it. Here there's a 12,500 watt Odin generator, diesel. That is a big sucker. You've got your wet bay down here. There is a water purifier. This is all metal. Everything is cut into there, so you're never gonna have to worry about stuff rubbing off or stickers. This is the SantaCon system. Tank up here, pipes down below. the hydraulic system. And what's nice about this is everything is very accessible if you need to work on it. This is a massive battery bank. This is the passenger side of the coach. A lot more storage on this side. Nice storage bay in the back. Huge bay in here. No pass-throughs though. Another large bay and here's where you have access to your vacuuming system. You do lose the access to this bay because of the aqua hot system, but if you wanted to put some odds or ends to the side, you could. And then there are two more storage bays right towards the front of the coach. The Renegade Icon is a beast. It's beautiful inside. It's set up to tow whatever you want. You can take your car trailer to the show, travel around the US with two cars, whatever you want to do. Um, the only downside is there isn't as much storage because of all those additional systems underneath and it retails for $705,000.